The recent arrival of COVID-19, the black swan, has already resulted in a massive decline in passenger demand, which will certainly impact aircraft demand in the short term. At Ascent by Sirium, we have seen many queries about the potential impact on aircraft values. In this video, I will try to explain one possible scenario. Since the end of the last economic downturn, we have enjoyed a long cycle of expansion in the aviation industry, with a noticeable slowing in growth during the past couple of years. The grounding of 737 MAX fleet, though unexpected and disruptive, has helped to contribute to an increase in single aisle aircraft values as well as lease rates because it has created a supply decrease at the point in time when demand was weakening. Nevertheless, COVID-19 is now threatening to override that positive effect. At the end of 2019, IATA was forecasting traffic growth of 4.1% for 2020. Due to COVID-19, they have now revised it to a decline of 0.6%. The most recent announcement of passenger revenue to falling by 11-19% to suggests that the global traffic might decrease even more. Aircraft values and lease rates are vulnerable to such economic disruptions, as evidenced during the last two down cycles. This chart illustrates half-life values and lease rates for a constant aged A32200 CO and 737-800 over the past 20 years. The 2001 decline in values was a result of the downturn in the wake of 9-11 terrorist attacks, immediately followed by SARS epidemic in 2003. Those events caused two years of fundamental declines in single-aisle aircraft values, then follow a return to growth in 2004 and gradual annual increases until 2008, when we observe another dramatic decline in values as a result of the global financial crisis and another two years before values began to recover. What is worth emphasizing is the magnitude of the declines. During both downturns, single aisle aircraft market values saw a typical reduction of 15%, with market lease rates suffering an even greater fall of around 20%. Twin aisles, especially A330-300 high gross weight and 767-300ER, mirrored the pattern from single aisle aircraft. However, the values were more affected and took slightly longer to bounce back. After both 2001 and 2008, market values decreased by around 20%, while market lease rates were around 25% lower. So what will happen in a current cycle? To try to answer this question, I will use Ascend by Sirium Asset Risk Ratings, which demonstrate the downside volatility of market values over base values, derived from uh, analysis of historical performance. The blue curve represents future base value for a 2020 year of build a 32200 co the red bars illustrate our downside market values based on our rating opinion for that type. Our downside market scenario indicates 20% downside risk in one year, 22.5% in five years, and 25% in 10 years. Efforts to control the spread of COVID-19 have already resulted in almost 3% year-on-year decline in global airline capacity, putting many carriers at, under significant pressure. Airlines are moving into survivor mode, reducing their networks and utilization of aircraft. Many are also parking aircraft. Whilst traffic demand remains weak, aircraft demand will also remain weak. This is a high-risk scenario for a market values and lease rates with a negative outlook. What the true impact of COVID-19 on aircraft values and lease rate will be remains to be seen. But if the lessons of history tell us anything, we should brace for a bumpy ride over the next couple of years before recovery kicks in thereafter.